hey guys welcome back to my channel um so today i will be sharing with you guys the damage i didn't really go too too crazy but i did get my hands on a few stuff that i had been wanting to try and then um i decided to just browse and get some stuff that i really need but why not right so i got a little bit of everything um I wanted to try new stuff, new brands, um, just kind of, you know, get a little bit of a few things. Nothing major or anything like that. But, um, so, originally I was going in for, um, wait, I just realized that this is a magnetic lash applicator. And this is not what I was trying to get. No, it's not. I don't have to go back. But I had wanted uh, the lash applicator, the curved one, just because sometimes with regular tweezers, I do have a hard time putting my uh, strip lashes. So I have been wanting one of these for the longest, and I just came to realize it's a magnetic lash applicator. This is not what I was going for. So now I have to go back and return this. Um, but yes now i have to go back to ulta of the lord helps me just go in and out for that one so we'll just kind of ignore that one that was my bad but i also got this little bad boy um this is what uh i normally do my white liner looks with but yeah, I got me an extra one just because I wasn't sure if mine was either drying or it was getting um, a little thicker on me. And then the following one. Um, so I'm very open-minded to any setting sprays or like setting mist or anything like that. I had been wanting something new and I didn't have this in mind. But I was like, I saw it, it caught my eye with ColourPop. And um, it's dermatologist tested, oil free, gluten free, paraben free, and it's vegan. It's called Pretty Fresh from ColourPop. And it's a cute little um, setting spray. It's, a, it's called the Ha Setting Mist. And it's a hyaluronic acid setting mist. And let me tell you the scent for me it was the plus on this one. This smells like smells good like it doesn't okay it doesn't smell like like alcohol i don't know but this one i had to smell it i'm a scent person for anything like oh, my face or my hair like or my body like if it doesn't smell good i don't want it on because i'm always like Ugh. like i wouldn't want to smell someone who smelled like something not so satisfying you know so this one, I'm excited to try. I will be using it on uh, my following looks that I'll be doing. It comes out so lightly. Like, I don't know, it just makes me feel like very airy in a way. But I'm excited for this. Uh, I believe this was uh, like just $12. So it's very inexpensive. And it's, how much? It's. 3.72 flat ounces so it's not too like you know like i think it's a good price for uh the packaging for the ounces in this um the white liner from nyx i want to say was what seven to nine dollars i don't recall but around there and then these magnetic lash applicators if this is what you're trying to get i think it was like five dollars or something like that um but anyways i'm not gonna let that one bother me um let's see i also uh ran across another little baby with color pop called x's and o's i wanted to get a little you know little palette with cute colors look at these shadows they're just the cutest 
like it has a few matte neutrals reddish warms and then it has like the shimmer ones all right here which i'm excited to try i'll be doing a look with this one hopefully i can do a valentine one with this one i'm not gonna do pink i feel like i need to step away from the pink and purple family because i've done that on the videos so i'll be using this little bad boy and has 12 eyeshadows and i think it was easily Okay, so I lied to y'all on the magnetic lash applicator. It's literally only $249, but I don't wear magnetic, so I was about to say I keep it like it doesn't hurt me, but I mean, props to y'all if y'all tried the magnetic. I don't trust that. Now the, where is it? Okay, so the X's and O's ColourPop palette was $18, so it's still not bad. It's literally less than $20. It has a little bit of everything. It's easy for traveling. Like, how do you not carry this little thing in a little travel bag? Um, okay, so other than that, I got my hands on the Nomad by Juvia's. So a little bit about this. How much was this? This palette. It's an eyeshadow palette. It was only $15. I need scissors. Ugh. So yes, literally it was $15. I've been trying to get my hands on Juvia's for a while. Um, but prior to me finding out that it was carried at Ulta, I thought it was just online. So I'm always hesitant about online stuff. So... Uh, here we go. These are the colors on this palette. There's a little bit of, um, you know, your mattes and then your shimmers. And it's literally a good portion like size on the shadows. And it's nine shadows. You have one, two, three, four, five, six matte shadows. Um, and then you have three shimmers. So I'm excited for this one and the looks that we'll be doing. The Juvia's palette, it was $15 for 12 shadows. That's not bad at all for me. Like, and these pigments, like I'm just excited to try it out. So I'll be playing with that. Also, I wanted to go ahead and get my hands on the BH Cosmetics Glowing in Grease. Um, I have to go back for a few more palettes that I saw with the BH Cosmetics, but <sighs> this is a little bit of um, blushes and highlighters in this palette, and it comes with this cute little mirror also, so that's a plus. So you have your blushes. These three are like the cute little blushes, and then these are the cute little highlighters. I feel like it's perfect like you don't have to pack too much if you're traveling or anything like that you have your blushes and your highlighters like you're set you're good so and then um i went ahead and i don't know if uh people have really played or heard of the line called essence but i personally love it and if it wasn't for daisy danger i would have never tried this line and she always talks about their uh products i guess people don't really know about them like they're not that out but uh i tried their eyeshadow primer um i've tried their brow uh pomade i've tried uh another mascara before i've tried uh a few other stuff and i'm not gonna lie i've never been like not satisfied with the line so um I wanted to go ahead and try this mascara and it's called I Love Extreme and it's a crazy volume mascara. A um, little mascara and um, I always like to review prior to me purchasing something. Um, not unless it automatically catches my eye but if it's something that I don't know too much on then I'll probably just you know review stuff and then that's how I make my list.
and my list is long. So anything that catches my eye, I'm in. And then I saw, I ran across this line that I had never really heard of or seen. It's called Sova. Yeah, Sova. So I got one of their lipsticks and it's, their packaging is super cute, all black, very pretty. And I got one of their lipsticks and their lipstick was, so the mascara was $4.99 and then the lipstick was $15. And I feel like it's a cute little size, well not cute little size, but it's a good size. It's like a pretty soft pink, here we go. Like can we talk about the packaging? I think it's cute. And the shade in this lipstick is the Pale Plethora. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. like a pretty soft pink and it's in a cream consistency i really love this shade it was really cute to pass on it was 15 dollars not that bad i liked it i wanted to give it a try um it seems like a velvety like something velvety in a way so i'm excited to try this but yeah so that was it it was just the lipstick the bh cosmetics glow and gray six color blush and highlighter palette and then the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hot Setting Spray. The Nomad by Juvia's palette. The mascara and the white liner. And then the Exits and Nose ColourPop. So, and then other than the lash applicator, I'll have to return that. So I got me these three blush and highlight shadow shadow setting the spray lipstick liner mascara and magnetic lash applicator by accident okay guys well that was everything for today's video that was uh my what's in my uh why do i keep saying utah That's what was in my Ulta bag. Um, let me know if you guys have tried any of the products before. And if you do guys go get them, please share with me. Um, I would like to know too. To me, they're all new other than the NYX liquid liner. And yeah, just share with me. And I hope to see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed.